Now, using Excel spreadsheet to do this is even super easier. This is the table as we have made by hand. Just type it into Excel. And um, this table is the height of bean in centimeter after indicated day of growth. So to make the same graph that we have just made by hand, all you have to do is highlight it, click on insert. Let's say we made a line graph by hand. So let's just do line graph here. Choose the type of graph that you want. Click on it, and voila, you're done. Um, I mean, if you wanted to be real specific about what is your independent variables or your y-axis here, you would right-click on the axis and then say format charge area. Uh, then you can go to, uh, let's see, nope, that wasn't it. I didn't mean, select it right, I guess. Let's click format plot area, that is. I'll go up here. You could uh, click on choose a layout. There we go. Then you can say this is the height of plan in centimeter. You can then say the title is Various Bean Growth. And done. OK. Um, now let's make it a little bit more advanced here. What happens if instead of having just one data, that produced by one person. You will have Alice doing collecting this data set. And then you have, um, let's see, let's see. Let me move this thing here. And then you have, um, let's say, Man, our tongue, also collecting this various data. Oh, now your table is looking a lot more complicated, isn't it? I'm going to delete this graph here for a second. Uh, you have Ben and Tom collecting the similar data, also on red, black, and green, but now you're having a bunch of, of um, various numbers. And if you do the same thing as we did before, where you highlight this, and then insert graph, line graph, woof. Now we're having a graph that is so complicated and you really couldn't, well, I guess you could see that there was one, day one, two, three going up, one, two, three, but I mean, it looks kind of meaningless. That why would you go from day three to day one again? So you definitely don't want to do that. Now here's come the part, what, which is called data analysis. You don't want this chart. This chart doesn't tell you anything. So there are two ways you could be analyzing the set of data that you have here. Um, the first way is, let's say, you believe that Alice, Ben, and Tom are doing pretty much the same thing. So you're going to say, OK, what I wanted to see is the same thing as I did before, how well is the red, black, and green beans grow in day one, two, and three, but now I just have more duplicated data. And what I want to do is taking the average, so you just type average, uh, Excel can help you here, and you would take Alice measurement, band measurement, and Tom measurement, and just put them all together, making an average number. Okay. Um, this is not changed yet. And then you wanted the same thing for day two. So a neat trick you can do on Excel is you move your mouse right to the corner of the cell where it turns into a plus there, and you just drag on. See how now this have taking the average of day two? OK. 
Okay, so we have made by drop and drag, we have made this line is uh, average of all three measurements. Uh, you can do the same thing, highlighting this, make the mouse into the cross, and then drag it down. So now, let's say you just have four check, check in. Click on this, and you can see that this is the average of Alice Green measurement on day two, and Ben, day two green, and Tom. All right, so now we have um, an average all three measurement and same thing you could highlight insert line graph and there you go so now what you have is a composition of all three measurement made by Alice, Ben and Tom and we have a similar graph as we've seen before where we can look at uh, the growth from day one, two, and three of three different beans, you know, by three different color here. And of course, from this graph, you can be easily concluded that red beans grow the slowest among the, the three of them, and black and green beans are pretty much the same. Okay? Now, another thing about um, data, data analysis a lot of people actually don't tell you is that depends on how you arrange the data you could convey different message so in this case if you want to convey a message of how well this bean grows you arrange the data in this sense now if you look through this data and you notice that Alice measurement let's say day one Red, Alice got zero centimeter, Ben got one centimeter, and Tom got two centimeter. For same thing with the black black beans, day one, Alice got two, Ben got one, and Tom got three. So Tom seems to be measuring, giving a number that is just a little bit higher than Alice and Ben. So if you actually don't care about how these different bean growth. You just want to see how well Alice, Ben, and Tom do um, so far as their bean growing. You could actually uh, arrange this data in such a way that instead of black, uh, red, black, and green, you would say Alice. Uh, you would say Alice, Ben, and Tom, all right, and you would say, okay, I don't care about what color of beans they're growing. I just care about how Alice, Ben, and Tom measure in day one, day two, and day three. Let me add a line to uh, insert a row to make it look easier. Okay. So I'm going to say day one, Alice, I say average of Alice measurement is average of, you can actually highlight it like so, and that will take the average of Alice measurement for day one. Uh, drag it across, you have all Alice measurement for all three days. Drag it down, you have everybody average measurement, oops, sorry. Ah, when you check it, it's like, oh man, no, they, they didn't, they actually drag down as in do the repeat measurement on these other box. They actually didn't measure band, so, okay, I'm just going to drag that box over and then I will have band. Drag across to have band. Uh, obviously, it's not this average. It's actually, you want to see Tom average for all three beans. Across and see, and I'm just making this bigger so it's easier for you to see. Wow, okay. Um, again, there's a lot of decimal here. What you can make your data a lot easier to see is to find this little button over here when you reduce number of decimal. Okay, that's, that's what we did. Um, uh, now that you get these.
measurement. So it does look like what you were thinking about might be true. Uh, just making it easier to see it. Does look like Alice. Uh, does look like Tom has somewhat of a larger measurement than Alice and Ben. And I can actually uh, put this into graph. I'm going to use the column charge instead, just for a different flavor here. And I can add a graph. And what you could see in this graph is, yeah, Alice and Ben pretty much show the same measurement. And Tom, which is in green here, seems to measure everything a lot with a larger value. So either Tom is better at throwing beans, or his ruler is, is it shorter, or something is going on. And <laughs> funny thing is, you just discover what's called systematic error. Tom is systematically different from Alice and Ben. And by arranging the graph in this this uh, this way, you could now see a different aspect of your data. That's called data analysis. Um, I think that's probably good.